All right guys, welcome to Greenwood Country Club for a one day mini tour event on the Carolina Mount Tour. This is tournament number two for me, so I'm excited to kind of compete again. It's been a while. The US Open was my last tournament. There are about 30 guys playing for probably seven, eight checks, but we're going, we're going for number one. We're playing good and we're confident. Um, so we're gonna go putt, hit golf balls, go to the tee. Let's go. <laughs> guys warm up complete feels pretty good um weather is going to be kind of iffy today but uh the key today is stay patient positive persistent and really just have fun because again i haven't played a lot of tournament golf this year only one other tournament so like i can't have these crazy expectations so the key if i want to play well is just having fun and like setting my expectations low we're not having and just really focusing on routine committing to, uh, to shots and, and whatever happens as a result happens par five hole one Greenwood country club let's go george good to see you let's go cory cory see you man you. No matter how many tournaments I play in, the nerves are always still there. But absolute smoke this first drive. And if you noticed, we had different shoes because I left my spiked shoes at home. Um, so I needed to go something. The Nike's slipping all over the place. So we went back to the old guys that I can uh, trust that are gonna, I'm gonna stay in place. But yeah, good, good opening drive here on one. <sighs> Tournament golf is just different. It's uh, it's it's fun to have pressure, have nerves, and execute a shot. So um, I'm gonna, no, it's hole one, but still, good start. Let's go. All right, 180 downhill, about a 175 shot. Maybe maybe 170, let it skip up there. 170, 175. Thanks. Didn't want to say before I hit, but definitely in between clubs there. And so in that instance, I knew shorter was a little better long, so I just went, hey, let's just smoke an eight iron, and it comes up a little short. But hey, solid, 25 feet for eagle here on the first hole. And another fun fact, we got a skins game here. So these mountain tour events, um, you pay your entry fee, but you can also pay $30 or $20 to get into a skins game. And that's a game within a game, because it's always fun to see if you can like be one of the lowest scores on that hole out of everyone. And if you do, get some good money. Alright, if you see my guy Cardi over here laying out the cart, purely out of safety. The last video with Grant and Akshay and Wesley, the mic was not working on the GoPro for the second half of the, of the cart camp. We're not taking that risk today. Um, but no, the fade swing there felt pretty good. Like on the range warming up, it was more draw by, so I'm like, hey, we're gonna commit to draw, straight shots we're gonna play, but that swing, I was like, you know what, we're playing fade six iron, and it works. So, it's big for the confidence uh, moving forward, you know, 25, 30 feet for birdie on this 195 yard par three. No tree trouble in the rough. A 115 shot, sand wedge. good and then just absolutely lay an egg. Uh, that's golf, so you just move on, chalk that up as just an accident, and then uh, go to the next hole, hole number four. Right. 32, 133, full gap wedge. 
smooth gap wedge. Same swings I did on the last hole, just a tight little draw. It's a good flowing swing. Commit to the yardage, and let the rest take care of itself. Golly, those again it's all it's all mental like I erased the anyway it just shows you you just got to have a good mindset every hole every shot but those are the tough ones to make those 30 footers on slower greens where you have to like be confident and aggressive uh, but man it's good to see one go in early But just a, enough late where I don't, I might be, oh, actually, hey, darn it, we might, I think we're gonna be fine. Let's go. Yes. If I would hit any further right, we would have been Texas toast. But yeah, guys, if the swing, if, the swing's not good, Barney. Like, I'm liking it, I'm liking it. 240 front, I'm gonna rip that three iron. If I hit it good, it should be able to carry the front of the green. So on this hole, par five's like this, where you're kind of in between, always go for like, no, if there's trouble short, then yeah, go for longer. But for the most part, play, or if you do come out here short, you're still in a scoreable, scoreable position. Uh, so that's what we're gonna do. Stick to your routine, have fun, be aggressive when you need to be, play smart when you need to play smart, but don't, the key is, for me going forward, this is, a, this is me preaching myself, just stay the same, keep doing what you're doing, and don't let the score dictate, but uh, yeah, it's having fun, competing again, I love anytime you get to compete, also apologize, gas carts, kind of loud, but hey, pedal down, as Wilson would say, keep the pedal on the floor, stay aggressive, let's go, so we uphill, in the slight breeze, I believe, all in all, 112 shot probably, maybe 115, 112, lands a little bit past, Back. Thanks. All right, hey, guys, come on, four under through seven, flat six working, and uh, now we're passing people this big offer. It's always the weirdest part, filming and playing, and it's like, uh, anyway, but yeah, we got we got it. Let's keep it going. I'm really I'm really happy with how I've kind of done my routines and my committing to putts and lines. Uh, I feel like I'm, for the most part today through seven holes, it's the road hole here, part two. Uh, I've kept it very patient, very similar, and, and very consistent. So hole eight, part four. Here we go. Hit a pretty good one there. I obviously don't have those Wesley hands where that one would have taken like two two skips, spun backwards. I thought I nipped it and you saw it just gotta release his forward. But hey, still a great shot.
Yeah, you just gotta uh, laugh that one off. I mean, just just hung back and uh, I mean, made it like that's all I did. Hung back and flipped at it and then bam. But might be okay. Oh, we got life. Let's go. Oh yeah, plenty plenty of strong enough to get it through the uh, <laughs> the forest. God, what are you doing? Moving our way up the fairway. Golly, Carney. <laughs> what a lucky save. Oh. Hey, sometimes you need that. On the back, mid the turn and five under. All right, so there, guys, uh, we made a great audible. This hole is, I mean, if you're playing with your buddies, it's probably 90 yards wide from outbound, maybe 100 from outbound to outbound. It's wide open hit driver, but I couldn't quite get confident with a line, and I was like, you know, the last thing you want to do is send it with an ounce of doubt. Even though, like I'm looking at it, you have tons of room, but I've been hitting my hybrid well, and I knew that I hit my three iron, I could easily have, you know, wedge into the green. And so I think that's what I have. But again, that's a case study. If you guys don't feel confident with the club, don't just the littlest bit of doubt, hit a different club um, because there's nothing like you got to commit every shot. And that's what I did. So I'm, I'm proud of myself because I wanted to hit driver, but I was like, no, George, hit the three iron. <sighs> so yeah, we got wedge in here. We got 135 into this uh, par four. All right. If you miss it eight yards, 10 yards right of the fairway, you're out of bounds. The left is no good, so you really have to just commit, make a good swing. And it was honestly just very uh, comforting seeing that I did hit a driver right in the middle of the fairway or right side, um, stepped up and executed. So again, we're, the same game plan applies. We're staying patient, we're staying uh, happy, fun, relaxed, and just trying to hit every, each and every shot, focusing on your routine, um, which you can control, and whatever happens, happens. So. We still gotta play. There's a lot of good players in, um, in this field, so you s you gotta keep pushing. You gotta keep pushing. 29, 130. It's like a back pin. We play about 25, 125 yard, uh, 50 degree, just three quarter. Um, try to get back there. That was a good one. Three quarter. I don't know how close it is, but. Um, you know, I struggled with those and so it was nice to execute like a smooth three-quarter shot. It just felt nice like hitting the shot that I planned regardless of where it ended up, so that's a big one.
Game's still solid. Here on the 14th hole, I mean, I'm giving myself opportunities. So I need to get a few more coming in. So there's a few good players in this field. So we got to keep it going. But that, that swing right there, you saw me kind of, maybe you didn't see me rehearsing, just hung back just a hair, which caused those hands to flip over a little bit. But again, I'm, I'm fine with that miss. I know what I need to do to correct it. But again, if you're gonna make the error, I feel like I made it the correct spot. So just gonna make a long putt. A little more stressful than I would like to have uh, had on that hold, but four to go. Huh. All right. Yeah, we uh, we escaped disaster there. Could have been great, could have been awful, but the fact we made par after that 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 second shot, uh, but man, we've made some pars in a row. But we're hit, we're hitting good shots, hitting good putts. We're we're giving ourselves chances chances. We, we have three holes remaining. Got to be patient. <sighs> but not hey, get nervous though. No lie, you're starting to feel it. Like you know, three holes. center on a kind of hard par three. I mean, 195 par three. All right, patience, fun. We'll see what happens. Between nine and pitch wedge, and I, again, I'm juiced up a little bit. Nine iron, probably was the right club most circumstances, but I went die, and I was like, dude, just crush it. I'm um, hitting it further today, so let's just hit a full pitch wedge. Sketchy into the grain. Thank you. Gents, what's going on? Yeah, nice to meet you guys. Huh. Bogey free, 8 under 64. Guys, come on. Look at that. Why about that finish? Now, time to go wait, sign the scorecards. And uh, there's, like I said, guy that just played in the US Open, Kyle Mueller. Weller. Literally just playing the US Open and he's playing here. So all that to say, I would not be surprised if minus nine, someone shoots nine or even 10 under today. But again, I'm shot eight under. So now, now just sit and wait. Yeah. Two signatures, 64 confirmed.
guys. <laughs> win number, I think, I think win number four. No, sorry. Win number five on the Carolina Mountain Tour. Holy cow. 64 bogey free. I mean, you guys saw it. Played extremely well. Hit. I think there's two holes. Hole number nine got lucky, got through, made an unbelievable par. And then hole number 15 when Probably should have tried to hit a hook three iron, but again, I stayed aggressive, got lucky and made par there. But other than that, center of the fairway, center of the green, 10 feet, like just a solid day. Like I'm trying to think, I mean, I could have shot 11 or 12 under, I feel like. Um, the stats were 10 out of 14 fairways, that's excellent. 14 out of 18 greens. The four greens I missed were all like on the fringes. So I don't even think I had a chip. I don't think I chipped one other than a par five. No, that's in that's insane. Uh, then 26 putts. So the putter, as you saw, was working. But guys, we, won a tournament i mean i think this this might cement my decision to do q school this year i know this course is easy and you know there's 30 guys but still a win is a win winning on on, on the professional level is not easy to do shoot 64 like i did is something that like the the, the, the way i play today is going to translate and carry over so i think we do q school i think this is like a, almost a no-brainer but man it was like you guys saw it, the the middle stretch of that that back nine i probably was getting a little more tense than i had been but i fought for staying focused staying like you know relaxed happy and a good mood and, and not caring about score um but really the last three holes i was like okay just stay patient like just be loose like you're nervous but like just hit some good shots here that's all and then like the last three holes were just 16 in there at 10 feet 17 great three iron great wedge great putt 18 that draw on 18 was big because you guys know i like playing a fade it's a dog like left so it's kind of sketchy feeling but i was like you know what if you're if you're doing q school don't hit you're not gonna hit three wood here like you're gonna have to hit driver and, and sack up and hit a drive and i did hit the best drive that i fade up the center fade to the right side then i, I mean not a great three iron but a great chip uh and then cash the putt um ended up winning by two so didn't he bury the last hole but like in my mind i was like i have to bury to win but man this feels good you know the other only other tournament i played in this year 70 at the us open qualifier lost in a playoff so to get vindicated win another time on the mountain tour <sighs> feels good guys subscribe to the channel like the video i guess we'll have another video coming soon talking about i gotta go to q school see you guys